It's time for Rusty How To. How to, how you do cousins, it's Rusty here. Guys, I'm what they call a full-time reseller. That means I find things out and about that I think are under the market value. I buy them and then I sell them on various platforms to try to make a buck or two. And I just try to have a good time doing it. And uh, this year I'm, I'm bringing this channel to you to try to help give you some tips and bring you along. Hopefully I can learn some things from you and maybe you can learn how to make a buck or two yourself. Today we're gonna talk about matchbooks. I just bought a, a huge load of them and I need to show you what I got into today guys i wanted to give you a quick update here we are i've started i mean i just just have started sorting through all of these different uh matchbooks and matchbook covers and this is just the beginning i mean look over here still got boxes and boxes i have not even gone through yet but just in one cursory glance last night and this morning i went through and uh, as I typically do, I like to try to find ones that uh, of any kind of item where when I buy lots, I try to sell the ones I think will sell quickest and for the most money as fast as possible to make my investment back. And here I'm going to give you a perfect example. Uh, this box stuff here on the floor is stuff that I have either listed or am about to list to start things off. First thing I'll tell you is stuff like this, the uh, what they call pinup girdles. So clubs, nightclubs, restaurants, oil and gas uh, genres. Uh, a lot of times had these where they have these little these women drawings and sometimes actual photographs of of lewd uh, of naked women or things like that. Um, right here, just last night I went through and I found somewhere around 400 of these. And I mean. I'm sure I've got hundreds, if not thousands more. So what I did was I took and I just counted out 20 at a time. And uh, I've listed these, I put them all together uh, 20 at a time and I'm doing little lots. So I've got probably 20 or 30 lots of 20 each of these pinup girls. I also pulled out uh, sports genres. So I've got a bunch of old football and old baseball uh, matchbooks here. They talk about who the person is. This individual was with the Pittsburgh Pirates or sorry, Cincinnati Reds. Um, what do we got over here? This guy, uh, he's with the Giants. Um, this guy, what a, oh, what a fierce look. <laughs> Bill Morgan, New York Giants. So I've got a bunch of these um, that are uh, in the sports category. Kind of moving on, this is a hot one right now, is uh, the Kona Kai, the Aloha Motel. Uh, that's in Anaheim, California. Uh, the Moroccan uh, well, here we go. The gayest nightclub in Greenwich Village. So, you know, uh, if people collect stuff from clubs or if it's a gay interest thing, I guess somebody might might be interested in that. We got the Cuckoo Club in Chicago, Illinois. If I pop this up, this is a nightclub. Oh, my goodness. See, there you go. That's uh, it's some sort of uh, it's another one of those pinup girl type things. These clubs, the Tiki Hut, Tiki items, uh, the Creole Lounge. Uh, things that have to do with tiki particularly seems to be real hot right now. There's a big collector base for tiki. There's another one, the Tahitian uh, in Pasadena, California. So those are some that I pulled out because I'm just looking across eBay. Again, I'm very new to this, uh, very new to matchbooks. Beachcomber, again, this is kind of a tropical fun, these tropical themed ones. Um, I'm going to throw these up. I think I'm going to make my money back just on these ones I saw. Some other really cool ones I found that I wanted to show you. This one right here is not unlike uh, picture postcards that I sell, quite honestly, uh, and, and often. is uh, This one is it's a souvenir from the King and Queen of England, the Silver Jubilee, 1935. But this is an actual photograph of the king and queen, black and white, just like those uh, real picture postcards. It's a souvenir from a coronation uh, ceremony uh, that, that you know guests were able to get these uh, around that time. Really cool. I mean, there's not even one like that on eBay right now, so I'll probably do pretty well with that. Here's one. Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president of the United States. Uh, that's cool. People who collect uh, political-related ones might get a kick out of that one. Here's one I found. It is actually Bob, and it's a burger. It's Bob Burgers. Uh, let me open it up here. Bob's Big Boy Hamburger. And in nine locations, for whatever reason, someone has clipped off the top here of these actual matches, which is uh, is not great. But this one's uh, got three or four different locations here. Uh, but that one's just kind of a cool look. Um, and then, of course, over here, I've got I pulled out a bunch of these old soda... Um, 
ones, you know, 7-Up, Coke, a lot of real famous ones, Coca-Cola, uh, different types of ones from the same drink, Coca-Cola, a couple different ones, some different looking uh, Pepsi-Cola ones, here's another one that's different there, Coke, Knee-High, here's another Coke one, this, Dr. Pepper, I mean, look at these old uh, advertisements for these uh, old sodas, uh, super cool, I just love to see the Sunspot, this, Cola, people who uh there's a collect group just for this type and so you know just starting out i mean there are so many different kinds um but so i've really got my work cut out for me i want to come over here and just sort of if i come over here and i just kind of look dive you'll see another one of these it's very easily i found it you know another one of these little pinup girls um but i mean we got hotels we got motels we've got restaurants um here's another kind of another pinup girl I mean, there are just tons of them here. The Winkin' Pup. Uh, it's in Chicago. Uh, the Blinkin' Pup, sorry. Tropical Show Bar. Uh, all kinds of bars, cocktail lounges. Um, I mean, just, it goes on and on. Harry's in Minneapolis. Uh, there are collectors who collect specific locations. Teachers, Highland Cream. <laughs> uh there's so many things, guys, to, to learn about this. I'm learning a ton. So as I continue to go through this, I'm going to bring it to you. I want to show you. Look at this old Butterfinger. It's rich in pure dextrose. That's the energy sugar. <laughs> I feel like all sugar gives you energy, but maybe I'm wrong on that. The Turf Penthouse. Garden room, cactus room. What do we got here? This has got little clouds coming out off to the side, which is kind of cool. Oh, look at this. Uh, I didn't even see this in your favorite cocktail. You know, this is what they call a feature matchbook because it features uh, matches that have the actual words and a picture on this. All you can eat. And look at that. Uh, well, no, it's not full. As I was gonna say, it might be full. It's missing three. It's missing the front three. So that definitely brings the value down. But somebody might still be interested in this one, uh, particularly if it's a, it's a very rare uh, place. So I'm going to kind of toss that to the side. Oh, I didn't even show you this one right here, the Yellowstone National Park. Look how gigantic this thing is. It's the Lido Rama matches. Open it up, and look, they're all in there still. It's completely full. Uh, well, I say that. That's, yeah, they are. They're full. They've not been, uh, it may be missing one here on the corner. Doggone. Well, maybe somebody will, will look past that and still want to buy it. But, uh, guys, I'm telling you what, uh, just oodles and oodles of these here. And uh, I just can't wait to get through here seafood and steaks it's just honestly guys um aside from kind of it turning my stomach a little bit at how much they objectified women on a lot of these uh, aside from that if i can look past that and, and look to these other things um just the history he people here the different types of um, advertising that they do was just incredible our famous cuckoo cocktails where is this at bernstein's fish grotto in los angeles california um, well, I'm not going to waste your time anymore with this today, guys. I just wanted to show you how many different cool things I have here. Um, uh, these are not just your average run-of-the-mill ones. I mean, some of them are, obviously, but definitely have some really cool, uh, even some boxes here, safety matches, polar bear. I have no idea how old that is or what, but I got my work cut out for me, people. I've got lots of research I'm going to have to do to try to figure out where all these are from and who's going to want them. I think that I'm just going to have to throw them up there. That's about all I can do. Put them up on for auction uh, or, or buy it now so just see if anyone offers me anything. Uh, anyhow, guys, thanks for joining me today. Guys, if you like that video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We're dropping new stuff every week. I'm about to drop one where I kind of show you a day in my life and how I'm on track to do over 80 grand in uh, sales on eBay this year, Lord willing. And uh, it's going to take a lot of hard work and it's going to take a lot of, uh, you know, cross my fingers and, and hoping people want my stuff. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to take you along on the journey. If you're interested, maybe you'll learn a thing or two. Maybe it can help you out in your uh, either reselling or just to make an extra buck here and there. So, uh, guys, if you if you like this, all right, like it, subscribe, click that bell icon so you'll know when new stuff comes out. You guys have a great one. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair, too.